Welcome to the Religious Studies course on Modern and Contemporary Judaism. Uh, my name is Kurt Messick and I will be your instructor for this term. I look forward to interacting with all of you on the class and uh, I, I have enjoyed this class in other times that I have been through it and I think we'll have a great class this time because I think we are at record enrollment. We usually have only one or two people. I think one time we had three people in the class. So in fact, we have a bumper crop this year and I hope it keeps going. I hope to have videos up on a regular basis for the class. I may miss a week here or there, but I'm going to do my best to do uh, some videos for you each, each week. Uh, I am a graduate of different schools, but perhaps the most important one for purposes of this class is Indiana University. Uh, they had a Jewish studies program that was just starting up when I attended IU about almost 30 years ago. I hate the fact that I have been, that I'm old enough to have been there 30 years ago, but I was one of the first 250 students or so to go through the Jewish Studies Certificate Program. Back then they didn't have a degree program. Now they have a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, a doctorate, all sorts of things, and uh, I'm very proud to have been part of the beginnings of that program. In that program, we studied Hebrew, we studied Biblical Hebrew as well as modern Hebrew, we studied uh, the literature of the land of Israel. It has a very vibrant art culture today which has uh, poetry and novels and film and the, the fine arts and other things that are, are worth exploring. We studied the history both of the Bible and the religion as well as the culture as it went in different directions because Judaism after the, the fall of the temple, the fall of Jerusalem, and the scattering in the first and second centuries really became a worldwide phenomenon as Jews throughout the Roman Empire and on the fringes of the empire had to begin to fend for themselves in many ways. So we had different centers of culture and learning among the Jewish peoples throughout uh, several thousand years. Alexandria was a bright spot, different uh, cities in Europe became bright spots at different periods of time, and we can talk about some of those. What has happened, of course, in the modern times is that with the advent of the State of Israel, a lot of loose strands are coming back together. Sometimes that's good and sometimes that's not. One of the things that has happened is that a lot of cultural items that used to be very diverse are being standardized and put together. And sometimes it becomes a struggle to try to preserve certain things. Uh, for instance, the Yiddish language, which was a Germanic Hebraic language with a life of its own. There were Yiddish communities throughout Northern Europe, and there were Yiddish communities in North America as well. There was a, a vibrant Yiddish theater program that, that uh, toured the country in, in different parts, and there were different uh, peoples around for whom Yiddish was, if not their first language, the strong second language. Uh, but Yiddish is a very, very dying language now. It's, it's uh, undergoing uh, academic treatment, as it were, to try to keep it alive. Uh, that's never really good for a language if you have to go to that extent to try to keep it alive. Modern Hebrew, on the other hand, is vibrant and flowing, whereas once upon a time to think that, that Hebrew would be a regularly spoken language outside of synagogues would have been a, 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 a pipe dream. In fact, uh, a lot of the early people who looked forward to a Jewish homeland were not necessarily looking forward to a Jewish homeland in which people would speak Hebrew. They thought they might all be speaking German, or might all be speaking Russian, or might all be speaking English, or might all be speaking an amalgamation of those languages, rather than resurrecting the biblical language into a modern language called Hebrew. So there are a lot of things that we can look at, a lot of things we can discuss in our class, and I look forward to doing that with you. I'm going to restructure the discussion boards that are up there now so that we will have separate ones for each of the weeks that we go through, as well as a generic discussion board where you can ask questions. If you see a question up there that you want to answer, please feel free to go ahead and, and, and take a stab at it. It doesn't have to be all information just coming from me. I'm hoping also to put up a few PowerPoints and a few other things along the way. Uh, and, and I'll probably have some links for you as well. Don't forget that the, that the primary book that we're using now has 
a, a website that you can link to. And if it's not up there already, I'll have it up by Monday so that you can go to that and see all of the, the resources that they have available for the book. But I look forward to the class. Shalom. <laughs>